Hello, fifth graders. I wanted to show you a game that we will be using when we study ecosystems, and it is called Fast or it is called Food Fight. And to get to this game, there's a couple options. You can go to BrainPop.com. This is totally free. There are some videos and features that you cannot use with this site um, unless you have an account, but you do not need an account for the game that I'm going to show you. So in the search bar up here, you're going to type in Food Fight and click search. Now, if you scroll down just a little bit, you'll see under games it says Food Fight. And it's got a big line there. You're going to click on that. Now, the game is going to begin. You can turn on the sound effects if you want. Those are really fun. Or the music. I'm going to go ahead and turn the music off for this right now since I am teaching you this game and you can't hear it. So, you're going to go ahead and click start. Now, you need two people to play this game. Um, although, as a class, sometimes we might use a whole class and just take turns. So, you'll go ahead and press start. And each player gets to choose what they want to be, what kind of animal they want to be. Now, you want to choose an animal that you feel like would be a top of the food chain type animal. Something that maybe won't get eaten a lot, um, something that eats a lot of other things but really is more of a predator and not prey to a lot of animals. So, just for the sake of this game, I'll choose a rhino. And we'll go ahead and keep that at Leopard. Now, ideally, you'd be playing this with two people. We press Next. Uh, for the sake of this, I'll press 14 turns, although you can do 28 or a certain number of time, a certain amount of minutes. Now, what I love about this is that they, throughout the game, give you tips and tricks, and they also uh, give you hints and tell you how to play the game throughout the game. So you don't even need me to share with you how to play the game. It's really all there for you. So player one is the rhino, player two is the leopard. You can always click the more tips for anything else. I'm going to press start playing. They're going to determine who goes first. And the leopard gets to go first. Now, every time that you play, you're going to see something called wild card. And in the beginning, it doesn't make a lot of sense to use it, and you'll see why. So it always gives you something or takes away something. So all vertebrates being increased by two, when we have nothing there in our field, doesn't make a whole lot of sense to use. So you got to think about the first thing that a leopard might need to eat. Now, leopards eat meat mostly, but if I put any meat in the field, what's going to happen to those animals? Well, those animals that the leopard might eat are actually going to need some sort of plant, some sort of producer. Okay, So if I click on leopard, it highlights the animals that the leopard eats. Well, both of those animals need to eat something else. So I'm going to click on, just um, hover over those animals to see what kind of producers those animals need. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and just put in a bush. And you can see that it says grazing in space. There's five bushes out there. There's nothing else. There's nothing else to eat it. Now it's my rhino's turn. I'm going to go ahead and press wild card. Hover over my wild card and see if there's anything there that I could use. Well, lion, leopard, and cheetah being reduced by four, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense for me to use because there is no lion, leopard, and cheetah yet. So I'm going to hold off on that. And rhino. Do rhinos eat bushes? They do. So I'm going to go ahead and put out one of my rhinos. Now your goal of this game is that you want to have the highest population and score at the end. So you can see my rhino is really happy right now. Now it's my turn. The, the cheetah's turn. Or leopard. Sorry, I keep saying cheetah. Go ahead and look at my wild card. All plants being increased by two. I could use that. That could help me right now because when I increase my plants, I also increase um, anything else that's there. But I want to put in something that the leopard's going to eat. 
going to go ahead and put in a vervet monkey. Because then I can put in a leopard later. Oh, and because my monkey started eating all the bushes, my rhino died off, which is what I wanted as the leopard. So the rhino's got a wild card, grasses and bushes reduced to one. I could do that, but that'll actually hurt the rhino in the end. So I'm going to put in some more producers for my rhino. I'll put some fruit in. That made my monkey pretty happy. All right, leopard, elephant, and rhino reduced by four. That doesn't help me because there are no rhinos in the game right now. So leopards eats those vervet monkeys, so I'm going to go ahead and put in my first leopard. Leopard's very happy. And as you play, you learn some tips and tricks throughout the game. You learn about increasing the producers and what that does for the game. You learn about the usage of wild cards and the usage of if you get too many producers and not enough um, predators for those producers. So this wild card, all plants reduced to two, doesn't help my rhino at all because my rhino likes to eat. As you can see, the rhino's prey is all producers. So I'm going to go ahead and put in a rhino. Population's growing for both the, the leopard and the rhino. Now it's leopard's turn. Wild card, all vertebrates increase by two, and it shows you the vertebrates. That's basically any animal that has a backbone. So that's all animals really in this game. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do that wild card because that's going to help the leopard. Although it also helps my rhino. Now it's the rhino's turn. See what the wild card is. Elephant rhino reduced by four. That doesn't make sense for me to use. Rhinos like to eat producers. So let's see. I already have some bush and some um, fruit in. So I'm going to go ahead and put in this short tree. And notice every time I just kind of hover over my rhino to see what their prey is. So short tree. Notice what happens when I put in those more producers to so where my rhino is starting to have a lot more food. Notice my leopard went down. Think about why that might be. Wild card, all plants increased by three. That's going to help me because my vervet monkey, which is a prey to my leopard, needs to eat plants. So let's see what happens when I increase my plants. However, that's also going to increase my um, rhinos because my rhinos eat producers. Rhino's turn. Wild card, all ruminants reduced by four, and down below it shows you what a ruminant is. And in this particular round, a ruminant is a, um, sorry, a zebra, and that's not going to help because we don't have any zebras. So let's see. Rhinos, they eat all of those three different things in this particular round. So I'm just going to add, let's see, there's only 10 short trees. I'm just going to add some more short trees. Leopard's turn. Wild card, plants increased by three. I'm going to do that. That's going to help me in the long term. Although it also helped my rhino because my rhino, all they eat are producers. Wild card, lion, leopard, and cheetah reduced by four. Now, as the rhino, that's a good thing. I want no more leopards, so I'm going to go ahead and use that wild card. And that completely drops my population to zero on the leopard side. But the score is 15 still because of all the um, points that I racked up while I stayed in the game. Wild card for the leopard. Plants increased by two. I'm going to hold off on that. I'm going to get some leopards back in the game. Now, there's not a whole lot of turns left. You can see that by looking up here at the arrow. I'm on two turns right now, and actually it's going to flip to one. So there's only one turn, so it's not looking so good for my leopard. Wild card. Ruminants reduced by four. Once again, at the bottom of the page, you can see that my ruminant is only my zebra, so that doesn't really help. 
rhino. The only prey that I have are those three things. So really all I can do to increase my rhino scores are to increase my those three plants. Um, or to find something that's going to kill off my vervet monkey. So I could see what's prey to the vervet monkey, but I don't want to add any more leopards in because that's the opponent. So I'm just going to add in, let's just, let's just add in some more fruit. Now at zero turns, the game has been won. The rhino won the game. 30 to 22 and this is a really awesome game thinking about the food chain and ecosystems which we will be learning about. Um, it's a good way to look at those ecosystems and specifically what eats what and what happens when all producers are gone or what happens when certain prey or certain predators are gone. So this is a great way to um, play at home and get some learning in. It's a good way, a good game to play with friends, and this is also something we'll be playing in class. So I do hope that you will use this and that you will enjoy it. And if you get done and you want to play another game, you just press rematch. Or new game. Rematch would be between the same two things. Alright, I hope that that was good for you, and I hope that you will use this resource.